back on Golf Central. The RSM Classic is the final piece of the wraparound season on the PGA Tour. Sea Island, Georgia is the stop this week. Many PGA Tour players live here, including tournament host Davis Love III. The Love family has called Sea Island home since 1978. So in 25 years as a design team, you can understand why this project was a little bit different for Mark and Davis Love. The plantation course has been used as part of the RSM Classic since 2015, but it's been a staple of the Sea Island Golf Club since 1928. The challenge for the Loves wasn't about making it a formidable PGA Tour track. The main goal was playability and sustainability for the members and resort guests. It's all part of a $30 million renovation of the property and there's no doubt the plantation has a whole new look. Less is more on the dramatically redesigned plantation course. There are less bunkers and less trees making for a more open feel. But there is more width in the fairways and more sweeping vistas, particularly on the course's back nine. How much dirt overall do you think you removed for the project? It's astronomical when you look across this piece of property. Yeah, thousands of yards of dirt. There was more dirt moved on this nine than there was on the other nine. So this nine to match the front nine had to come down a lot, get down to more natural grade. And one thing my uh, construction manager, Shaper here, Tom Weber, tells me is lower is wider. And obviously taking out bunkers makes more fairway. So we've taken out a lot of bunkers, uh, we've expanded uh, using the, the bulkheads that we put in, that gets, lets us get a little bit closer to the lake edge with the actual fairway. So for the average guy, he's gonna feel like there's a lot more width, a lot more pretty vistas. It's gonna seem like a bigger, wider golf course, which is what most of us want. The Plantation Course's new look showcases unique features from architects who have influenced this course and the Love's design philosophies throughout the years. The idea was to restore some old features and character while invoking new strategies. The Rainer, C.B. McDonald, Walter Travis influence is what we want here at Sea Island. And so I've gone back and looked at a lot of those old courses and a lot of like core Crenshaw stuff that they are influenced by it. Um, using the template holes or using holes that I've enjoyed playing, courses I've enjoyed playing over my career, it's been a big influence here. There are bulkheads, a la Pete Dye, a McDonald template redan hole, chocolate drop from Walter Travis, one of the course's original designers, and there's even a slice of the old course with the principal's nose-like addition to the 10th fairway. The 13th hole also features a punch bowl green. The punch bowl is one of the fun template holes of the Rainer C.B. McDonald pattern holes, as they called them. And when we started moving dirt out of here, Mark said, well, this is getting to be more and more of a bowl. Why don't we just do it here? We would have never really found this hole and done it this way if we'd have done it on paper. This is a hard hole on the golf course, so it gives the average guy a way to get the ball kind of into the green and have a two putt and get out of here. When you sit down and you come up with the blueprint for a golf course, is it like a Lego set that you just keep adding things on as the project goes along, and how close are we to what you originally came up with when you sat down with your brother Mark? Well, the quarters stay the same, but we always say we kind of design in the field and we build to what the land offers us. This has to be the most dramatic change. It's the par four 10th hole. It was the second hardest hole in the golf course in 2017. You're essentially turning it into a short drivable par four. What was the thought process behind that? Well, the first thought was they wanted to do some enhancements to the lodge and that dictated coming across the original 10th fairway. So for the tournament, we moved the tee forward, played it as almost a drivable hole. And now with the redesign, we've completely changed, obviously the whole golf course, but 10 new strategy and a new look the par 5 18th hole. What was your idea about redesigning it, not just for the tournament, but just in general? Well, in general, um, we wanted to lower the tees and add some length on the back. So from the long hitters, it was a legitimate par 5. Maybe take away the chance to put it in the lake. Put in the traditional features. We got the Walter Travis chocolate drop mounds. And then for the average guy, make it a little bit friendlier around the green. There was nowhere really to lay up. It was hard to get it between the lake and the bunkers. So we opened up the second shot area and then make it more risk reward on the green. I think it's gonna be a challenging finishing hole, but for the average guy, there'll be a way to get around and make a par and, and not make a big number. 
This is a perfect example of how a redesigned project is a living, breathing organism. Here is a bunker on the 18th hole, just talking with you, talking with your brother, Mark Love. This may or may not be in the end product. Right, it might not be here. We made the fairway so much wider that um, our shaper, Tom Weber, came in and just put a bunker in here. He said, it feels like you need something over here. I think the walls of it will come down a little bit at least, but this is one that when you come back the next time, it may be just fairway. Eight months later, it's not fairway, but it's also not the bunker you envisioned. You're both here, the golf course is complete. What are your thoughts on the final project? We're excited that the members are finally getting to see the, the golf course after 10 months of work and having it shut down. We're excited for the tour players to get to play it as well. So we're just glad that it turned out so well and we got the opportunity to work with a great Sea Island team. Mark, you spent a lot of time looking at this golf course, thinking about some of the things you wanted to do with it. What are your emotions on the final project? Um, well, it's a, it's a little bittersweet. Um, it was such a fun process working with uh, our team, Scott Sherman and the Love Golf Design team and Sea Island's team, uh, Barry Collette, the superintendent, was just as active as uh, I've ever seen in, uh, a superintendent in the process. Um, so we had a ton of fun, so it's kind of sad that it's over, but it's also uh, rewarding to, to hear the, the feedback so far and that people are uh, having fun and gonna enjoy it for a long time.